Hello guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. In front of me you can see one of the Logitech's top model of their wireless keyboard, the K830. This model is meant to be used amongst population of casual living room HTPC users, mostly because it has integrated touchpad as you can see it from the picture on the box. On the bottom side of the box you can see on which platforms can this model be connected, as well as the support for the Logitech's unifying USB connector for connecting up multiple devices. Going to the back side of the box, you can see another picture of the keyboard in a different angle, as well as some multilingual features listed out. Opening up the box, beneath the keyboard you'll find the user manual, and below it we have a micro USB charging cable and an extension cable for the receiver. Here's the K830 itself, and oh yeah, I almost forgot the wireless USB receiver. The design of the keyboard is pretty ordinary, round shaped on the left and the right side edges, straight cuts on the top and bottom, decent in thickness and with a nice weight feel. The top side reminds me a lot of a laptop keyboard, somewhat chiclet style keyboard look and layout, but with a little bit of longer key travel distance. Because of that typing on the K830 feels great. Just like on the laptop keyboards this model uses function keys and shortcuts, while a part of dedicated media keys are located above the touchpad. Speaking of it, the touchpad is decent in size and very smooth. Below it you can find the right and left click. Going along the outer edge of the keyboard's top side, you can see a button that imitates left mouse click, which sometimes really comes in handy, on and off switch and a micro USB connection for charging the battery. On the bottom part of the keyboard the only thing you'll find are four rubber feet for better grip. Last but certainly not least, the most noticeable feature that this keyboard has and which we rarely see in the wireless segment of HTPC oriented keyboards is the implementation of the backlight for the keys. As you can see here we have different levels of brightness as well as a completely off state, but bear in mind that if you plan to use this feature all the time it can shorten your battery life for quite a bit. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and preview of the Logitech's K830 wireless keyboard. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or check out our other videos from before.